Now I want to quickly move over to the SPDS and how we can combine this and make some awesome music. So I'm going to go to another kit here. Now I've taken this kit and kind of made my own variation out of number 11, which is Spark. So let me just show you what's going on. I've taken a microphone, just like the DR50 here, and put in like a beat. So bit like recorded, boom, scat, doom, ducks, right? And you can check that on the other clips as well. But what I have is this first thing patch is this sound. Okay, and obviously, as we've talked about before, I have to re-trigger that every time. Screw along with it. If I hit it twice, it works twice. I can even do a bass line. Come on, come on, come on. Even backup vocals. Come on, everybody, hey. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, everybody, hey. Come on, everybody, hey. So that's a pretty fun thing. Now, a whole other thing is taking samples from external sound sources, like a sample library, something like that. So this includes doing something of a preset sample that's at 130 BPM. So, but listen to it, it's kind of hard to figure out how to keep in time with it. Check it out. Okay, that's my initial sample. So I'm really gonna have to like, that's cool, I'm gonna add yeah, one E and, uh, see I'm getting off from it a little bit? Well, most human beings will. So what I did is I went to Phrase Maker and I did a phrase of a little drum loop at 130 BPM. So now I've got a safety net, if you will, on pad number eight. So check it out. Here's the bloop. You do the robot all day long, but now watch when I get in here with that thing. What I'm going to do is show you another thing. What I'm going to do next is I want to go ahead and layer these things and show you that I can use another keyboard pat patch to work as a harmony to that initial thing. So here we go. Now I'm going to add this other one. Here we go. 